Hey everybody, today's training video is designed to show you how to create a memorized transaction that could be combined with a route ticket that was created in the field. An example of this would be maybe you have your customer who has a monthly pool service flat rate and maybe you charge that customer 50 bucks a month, but it doesn't include chemical usage. You're not going to know that until you guys actually head out to the job site um, and, and, and service the pool. Your drivers in the field will document the chemical usage, provide quantities for the chemicals, and those route tickets will get synced back to the desktop software uh, on a daily basis. When it comes time to billing, we want to be able to send your customer one invoice. The invoice will include the memorized transaction for the monthly pool service, plus any other line items or um, chemical usage that was sold throughout the month. So in this scenario, we need to do a, a, a billing for the month of April. To get to this screen to first create a memorized transaction, you want to come to Customer Info and then go to Memorized Transaction List. Choose the customer in the drop-down menu. Select your line item for your monthly pool service. Give it a quantity of one and enter in how much a customer pays per month. Now before I combine these, this, these memorized transactions with, the, with this customer's route ticket, and by the way, you'll find that route ticket under the ticket pending the post. You'll see here we have four route tickets that were created throughout the month of April, and they all display chemical usage, along with quantities and totals. Right now, if we were to post it directly to QuickBooks, we would probably get we would get five um, different invoices, but we want to send the customer one invoice with five line items. So to do that, all we're going to do is first tell the system um, we want to update our description for the monthly pool service. So I'm going to choose that um, description here or that item here for pool service, and then I'm going to enter in pool service for April. This will update the description for all of the memorized transactions. And I'll push update and say yes. Notice now, when this goes to QuickBooks, it's going to say monthly pool service for April. And now I can go ahead and enter in uh, or post these two route tickets. You're going to see we have an option to post to QuickBooks. Doing this option is going to post this memorize transactions directly to QuickBooks and create one invoice. It will not include the chemical usage. We want to post to route tickets. This way we combine the chemicals with the pool service. I'm going to choose my date range here. Since last month we posted this from on April, on March 1st, that will be our date range. We'll just, we want um, our date range to be, to include the last posted date or the last time you actually posted memorized transactions. So I put in my date range here, and I'm going to push post to route tickets and say yes. Notice now after we did that, the system automatically said that the last posted date is now April 24th. Now I can go to route info, tickets pending to post. Anytime a route ticket has a line item, it's going to show up on the tickets pending the post. Here is our memorized transaction, monthly pool service for April, and we have the individual chlorine, excuse me, the individual chemical usage for throughout the month. The customer was visited on the 3rd, the 10th, the 17th, and on the 24th. So we have four route tickets with chemicals. If you were doing this for the whole month of April, just choose your date range. And over here, you're going, to, you're going to want to choose the date that appears on the invoice in QuickBooks. Maybe you want it to be month, in, month ending April 30th. And now I want to click Post to QuickBooks. We'll give it a moment. You'll see that the list has disappeared. And now when I open up QuickBooks, let me bring this over for you to see. 
you'll see that the, that, uh, the system, you can customize these uh, fields as you need to, but ultimately, you're going to see on your template in QuickBooks one line item that has a monthly pool service for April, and all of the chemicals that were sold on the individual route tickets, along with the service date. So it tells you that on April 3rd, on April 3rd we had this chemical, and so on. You can customize this invoice by going to Formatting, Customize Data Layout. You may need to go to the Columns area and select the service date to display on your invoice if you don't see it. Just simply select this here and also to be printed as well. This way the service date displays on the invoice in QuickBooks. That's today's training video. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.